Welcome back to Guru Beauty. I am Jodie and today I am showcasing a beautiful little collection from Charlotte Tilbury. This collection is called the Future Vintage Collection and it's a beautiful set of Charlotte Tilbury products. This is limited edition. I think there were only 300 made worldwide and you get a hand signed card from Charlotte Tilbury with the numbered lot of the collection. So I own number 15 out of 300. You can see my little signed card there. We've got the top layer that contains an eyeshadow quad. This is the Luxury Palette Vintage Vamp. And then we also have three lip products. We have a lip pencil, lip cheat. We also have a Kissing Fallen from the Lipstick Tree lipstick in Penelope Pink. And also a Lip Luster Lip Gloss in Bardo Beige. And then this top layer of the box actually flips out to reveal a second layer. And that second layer contains here the cult product, the Filmstar Bronze and Glow Duo. I've taken it out. There's just the box that remains. A nice little deluxe size of the Charlotte's Magic Cream. It's an SPF 15 moisturizer that she concocted herself just to prep all of her clients skin underneath the makeup also including this little limited edition bar of gold I think is what it's called this is a highlighting product as well so I am using all of those products today contained in the future vintage collection here from Charlotte Tilbury now this collection may not be any longer available and I'm not sure if they'll be making any more because it is a limited edition collection but this is a great chance I thought if you do get this collection for Christmas perhaps or if you've recently purchased it you can see how I use all of the products together but most of these products, with the exception of the limited edition um, bar of gold, can be purchased individually. I also want to let you know about this new little product. This one is from GHD, and I got this one from Mecca Cosmetica. There are probably many of you out there who have gotten some kind of gift card for Mecca Cosmetica, and this would be a great idea how to spend it or what to put it towards. This is a new series of curl wands from GHD. This is called the GHD Curve Creative Curl Wand, and what I love about this is that it's not circular it's actually like an oval or elliptical pattern and what that's going to do is create a slightly different curve than what you would get from a round barrel I love that this is very 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 techy it makes electronic noises when you turn it on it also will turn itself off if it's left unused for a certain amount of time it heats up very very fast it's ready to go and it beeps to let you know in about 10 seconds flat it's got tri-zone technology which is an even heat which means that you're going to have less you know really hot spots that are going to burn and damage your hair and uh, it's got a nice cool tip that you can certainly hold and use while you're curling your hair. I just love this product. I love GHD and um, I'll show you how I use this and some of my favorite hair products as well just to create these loose waves. I've brushed them out. So if you want to see how I used all of these Charlotte Tilbury products to get this look today, keep on watching. All right, so I have just applied Charlotte's Magic Cream. This one she says treats and transforms. It's an SPF 15 moisturizer, and you can see the texture of it in the pot. It's a sort of thicker cream, very similar to night creams. I have applied that and really rubbed that into my face. You can see that I do have a shiny appearance after applying that. It doesn't have a feel like a lot of other day moisturizers that I use that are liquid or gel or very light and sink in immediately. No, this one definitely seems like it's sort of rich and hydrating again similar to a night cream in that it seems like it contains oils. I immediately worry about its suitability for my combination oily skin and whether I'm going to look like an oil slick or if this is going to just give me a nice glowy look from within. Time will tell. While I'm waiting for that to just sink in a little bit more, I'll just give it a couple more minutes. I'm just going to apply an under eye primer that's going to hydrate under my eyes and also help my concealer go on and stay on. This one is from Smashbox. And then I'm gonna apply a foundation that I have not tried yet. This one is from Tom Ford, the Traceless Foundation Stick. And this is in 04 Bisque. Next up, before we get into the eyeshadow, we're gonna apply some eyeshadow primer today. This is from Too Faced, their Shadow Insurance. This is one of my favorite all-time eyeshadow primers. Just 
really nice formulation, spreads very easily. Before I go into the vintage vamp eyeshadow palette that came with that collection, you'll notice that there isn't a sort of matte highlight shade or a nice easy transition shade in that quad. So I am actually going to go into the highlight and contouring palette that's included in this collection. This is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I'm going to use a loose fluffy brush and just dip it into the highlighter and just apply that all over the eye. This is just going to give a little bit of a base on which to blend everything afterwards. Then with that same fluffy brush, I'm going to go into the contour side. I'm just going to pop that in my crease area. Next up, I'm going to apply this beautiful shade from the palette, just using a flat eyeshadow brush on the inner two thirds of my lid. And you can see that color just intensifies the more you layer it on. I'm going to use the same brush, just flipping it over and going into that slightly darker plum shade. I'm going to apply that to the outer third of my eyelid. You can see I'm just kind of using the brush on this angle first of all, just to pack the color on. Then I turn the brush 90 degrees and just pushing it just above my crease. Now I'm actually going to go back into that loose fluffy brush that I applied my Filmstar Bronzing Glow with. And I'm just going to blend out very, very gently just that outer edge. Now I'm just using a more precise pencil brush, spraying it down. I'm actually using the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I'm just gonna go back into that darker shade and just give that outer corner just that extra oomph with the wet shadow. You can see it's just a little bit darker, it's just adding a little bit more definition to that outer corner. And that is where I'm going to bring it down now to my lower lash line. Just blending it into the outer half of my lower lash line. Next up we're going to apply a little bit of the shimmer and I'm going in with a very, very flat eyeshadow brush. This is the 5N from Makeup Forever and I'm going to dip that into the light pinky highlight shade and we're just going to apply that shade to the very upper inner corner. I'm just going to apply quite a bit of that just to brighten this whole inner area here. Now I've cleaned off that brush and I've sprayed it down again. I'm dipping this now into the glittery gold shade of the eyeshadow palette. Now I'm just going to apply that to the inner half of the lower lash line. Time now to line the waterline and tightline area. I'm just going to use a rounded eyeliner pencil. I'm going to dip it into one of my favorite gel liners of all time. This one is from MAC. This is the Rich Ground Fluid Line. Now it's time for liquid liner today. I'm using Tom Ford's. This is his eye defining pen. And I'm going to use that slightly bigger tip just to create a bit of a wing. Now I'm just going to use an angled liner brush just to apply a dark eyeshadow shade. I'm just using the darkest shade called Undone from Urban Decay's new Naked Basics 2 palette. Any dark shadow will do. And I just like to set that liquid liner in so it's going to last a very long time. It all looks nice and even and just a tiny bit blended on the edges. I'm just going to go back in now with that pencil brush, just dampen down a little bit back into that darker shade from the palette just to make sure that my outer corners sort of match my liner. Now it's time for mascara, just applying some of the Maxi Lash Volume Creating Curl Sculpting Mascara from Galan. I just have a little mini here that I need to use up. I'm now just going to apply some Bioterry Touche Expert Advanced. I have the shade number two. Just going to help brighten up the area now that I've applied my shadows. I'm just going to blend that in now with a brush. 
I love this product. It smells gorgeous like all By Terry products and uh, it's just a lovely brightening product without adding any cakiness. I think you can just sort of reapply and reapply this all day long and it's just going to look lovely. I am going to apply some lashes today for this dramatic look. I'm using a brand called K Lux Lashes. This is the style Cassie, K-A-S-S-Y. I'll include a link down below. This is what they look like. Now it's time for powder and I want to try and keep that glow and see how that one lasts. I'm going to use an hourglass powder brush with a NARS light reflecting pressed powder. This is not the best setting powder if you want coverage, it's not the best setting powder if you want you know, the best oil control all day, but it's a great powder that's lightweight that's going to help you keep your glow without caking up a glowy, dewy foundation, if that makes sense. I love this also as a finishing powder if you are using a more heavy coverage, more matte foundation. Set it with a normal powder and then just apply this as the finishing powder. It's a beautiful powder. It photographs just tremendously. Now it's time for this, the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I'm just going to use a NARS brush. This is one of the new Mi Kabuki brushes from NARS. Tape it on the end, but very loose and fluffy, so it's not going to be too severe a contour. I'm just going to tap that into the bronze side of this duo, concentrating on the very outer edge of my under cheekbone area. Just blend that. I'm just going to use that same brush very, very lightly into the highlight shade and dust it on the top of my cheekbones, also at my nose, center of my forehead, and then just blend it out into that sort of C shape around each eye. Because you just can't have too much highlight going into the, what does she call this? This is the Bar of Gold Skin Gilding Highlighter here, and I'm just going to really focus that on the very upper outer edge of my cheekbones. I think the Filmstar Bronze and Glow does a great job on its own, but um, this just adds a little bit more. Boom, I'm highlighted. I do really wish this collection had a blush. Charlotte Tilbury has some lovely looking blushes. I haven't tried any of them, but with two highlighters in the kit, I do really find myself wishing that she did have a blush in there. This one is from Hourglass today. I'm using Luminous Flush. Just between the bronzer and highlight shade. Now while it doesn't contain any blushes, this collection includes three lip products. I will start with the lip pencil. Really nice creamy liner. It goes on very easily. Next up, the lipstick. This one is in the shade Penelope Pink. Beautiful rose gold packaging here. And then finally the lip gloss that's included in the kit, again that beautiful rose gold packaging here. This one is in the shade Bardo Beige. I'm just going to apply that to the centre of the lower and upper lip. Now I'm just going to finish off my hair here before I give you the finished look. First I am applying the Batiste Dry Shampoo just to soak up any excess oil. And then I'm just going to section off my hair. Just taking the upper half up in a clip. And then I'm going to use Holy Grail product for me, section by section, the Paul Mitchell Hot Off The Press Thermal Protection Hairspray with my new GHD Curve Creative Curling Wand. It's also got a lovely non-slip barrel and it heats up literally in 10 seconds and it makes super duper electronic noises. Once I've curled and just let them dry, I'll just spray it with a medium hold hairspray. I really love this one from Catwalk by TG. This is the Sleek Mystique Look Lock Hairspray. I find it just gives texture, grip, 
and it helps to hold the style. I'm keeping the curler sort of no higher than my ear level. And I guess the other thing to note is that I'm keeping the wand horizontal. When I get to my fringy bang type area, I'm actually gonna brush that up horizontally still, but relatively close to my scalp here. And that's just going to create that sort of flip shape around my face. As that cools and I'll spray it, you'll see it just sort of helps to create that shape. So I have let it cool, I applied more hairspray, and then I've very, very gently brushed it out with my Scoochy Tangle Teaser equivalent, I guess it is. And then I've applied the very, very lightest amount of this little product, I love this. This is the Shu Wamura Touch of Gloss. I just applied a tiny tiny little bead, blended it through my fingers and that's just softened everything up and you can see we've just got this lovely sort of vintage wave. I love that look and uh, I love this iron from GHD, it's fantastic. So this is the finished look, I hope that you enjoyed seeing those Charlotte Tilbury products, they are certainly beautiful and I hope that you enjoyed this look, have yourself a beautiful day, you are beautiful, don't forget to act that way and we'll see you again really soon. Bye.